Hello, and welcome to the Sabre Roar. I'm Anna. And I'm Katie. Today we talk about the FHS Blood Drive, Chili Dinner Fundraisers, our brand new concession stand, the WEF College Fair, and the Yearbook Club. Students recently gave their time and blood at the annual Blood Drive. It was 17 years ago when FHS and the Red Cross first partnered to hold an annual blood drive. We've been running blood drives at Franklin as long as I've been here. Each year at Franklin High School we run two blood drives. We run one in the, one in the fall and one in the spring. Both are run by the American Red Cross. During the blood drive, students volunteer in a variety of different ways. All that we need to do is we need to do the recruiting as well as have the workers do the registration, um, do canteen as well as help in the, in the donor area. The blood drive helps people in need and also promotes lifelong donors and volunteers. We encourage students to volunteer for the spring blood drive as well. The music department hosted their third annual chili dinner before our homecoming football game. It is a dinner that we do every homecoming before the homecoming game um, from 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock p.m. And it is $8 for tickets and anybody can come and buy chili and support the music department. The chili dinner allows music students to fundraise for their performance trips as well as pay for competing at the Wisconsin School Music Association. Thanks to the volunteers' hard work, the chili dinner was a success, raising over $2,100 for the music department. In addition, the music department plans on hosting a cookie walk in December and hopes for equal success. In order to keep up with health codes and increase revenue, new concession stands have been added at Jerry Marsh Field. Construction of the new concession stands at FHS started last summer and are now near completion. It will be a lot bigger, we can store more food, and we can get the lines through the concession stand a lot quicker. So um, I think the biggest improvement will be uh, the revenue that will come in. One of the new additions everyone is excited about is the new bathrooms. We had porta potties for ever, and now it's time to, to make a change and move forward in the right direction. Recently, various parts of the FHS construction sites were vandalized, including the concession stands. We don't know who did it, but whoever did it, they spray painted four other areas in addition to the concession building. Despite the vandalism, FHS looks forward to using the new concession stands. We're very pleased and excited to, to offer this to the community and have it as our own, and um, it's something that was greatly needed. On October 18th, school administrators along with the school board officially opened the new concession stands. With the concession stands complete, the Sabre Stadium project has been formed to raise money for future stadium renovations. The goal of the Sabre Stadium project is to raise enough money for a new turf field, eight-lane track, bleachers, and lighting. For more information, or if you are interested in donating, visit sabrestadiumproject.com. Many students at FHS had the opportunity to take a small step toward their future at the annual college fair. Which college should I attend has been a question on the minds of many with graduation only a few years away. Luckily, the Wisconsin Education Fair brings representatives from colleges around the Midwest to Franklin High School. Wisconsin Universities, Marquette, and MATC, as well as representatives from the military and several beauty schools were present at the fair. With such a diverse group of schools, it's almost impossible not to find something appealing to you. I think it's important for any student to go to the college fair because you really learn what the colleges look for, you get to measure the pros and cons of each school, and you really get a perspective of what it's going to be like when you go there. Although graduation might seem far away for some, students who attended the fair can at least begin sorting out their post-high school plans. High school goes by pretty fast, and the college fair is a great way for students to prepare for their futures. The 2014 Yearbook Club continues to have high expectations and is looking for new members. Mr. Nashheim is stepping up to run the Yearbook Club, so Ms. Waring can have a well-deserved break having to run it for seven years. It, it's something very different than anything I've ever done before, so I thought it would be a great opportunity to kind of work with a different group of students and meet some new people and uh, try something that I'm pretty much unfamiliar with up to this point. The club has many ideas to kick things off for this year. Well, the yearbook's a great opportunity for people to get involved if they like to get into design, uh, marketing, layout of very different things, uh, graphic, photography, uh, basically anything and everything kids are interested in, there's a need for that student to get involved and help us out with the yearbook. Along to help Mr. Nettesheim, a Wallsworth yearbook expert, Aaron, comes in to help the students finish their project. Um, we're really going to do a lot more pictures, uh, maybe a little less stories, uh, Again, we're going to really try to encompass the whole student body, so a lot of candids for the kids who are buying the books to really want to get in there and look at it and put some good stories about what's going on at Franklin High School this year. You can sign up throughout the year. Contact Mr. Nettesheim for more details.
That's all from us here at the Saber Roar. I'm Katie. And I'm Anna. Stay fresh.